Hello everyone, today I want to have a look at a very exciting project in my opinion which is Data Wallet. And currently there is no date but the whitelist pre-sale data is opening soon. So be prepared, subscribe to uh, stay notified, enter your email, subscribe to their Twitter, they got Twitter, uh, 3500 people. Um, they joined in 2015 in May so that's cool mm, what else they also got a domain from 2001 probably it was really bored but anyway the domain is like 15 years old maybe they owned it from 2001 i don't know it but i have checked it uh, so that's also good and subscribe to the uh medium ch uh, to the blog on medium uh, to stay tuned for the uh, for the news and recently there was an interview not recently just 10 minutes ago an interview was Next, this is Colin from Crypto Coin Growth uh, today we're talking with Sarah from uh, Data Wallet who we saw at BlockCon and so the team is public as you see uh, the interview was just released just 10 minutes ago literally so let's have a look what is Data Wallet and why it's exciting why I'm looking for an ICO and why I want to invest, but it's not financial advice, but it's just for educational purposes only. So, as you understand, it's everything about data. Uh, they are competitors to Pila and Datum.org, but I think Data Wallet is way ahead of it, and I will describe why. So, as you know, uh, they got a really technical white paper, data ownership pursuing blockchain wallet for privacy protected data exchange. This is like not a marketing white paper, this is absolutely real white paper, like I would call it business plan. That's bad they don't have yet, um, the website is made really nicely, but that's bad they don't have a simple, like, uh, simplified one page, uh, short version of white paper to go through but i think they might come up with uh, because it's still like they don't have even whitelist opened yet so i think s some cool stuff might come on the white paper as well uh, on the website as well so as you know owning data uh, you can return your data back and and uh, data wallet will allow you to claim your data and request it back and monetize it if you want to uh, for an analysis or you can decide not to monetize but i don't know why you should choose not to monetize it so like mm. so that will reduce the risks to who holds your data because they are kind of should be responsible the data costs hundreds of billions of dollars once you like search for a laptop on uh, ebay your laptop is all over your facebook uh, instagram and all other websites google and stuff like that so they exchange the data really quick so um uh the question is like why websites big websites should uh, hold your data or probably technically uh, why they hold it but I guess regulation and stuff like that but surely they say like we're, we we may sell your data we don't know but I assume 99% of those websites sell the data uh, so and data world will be passing uh, this data uh, back to yourself and you can decide what to do it I guess you will be able to edit it sell it depends what you want like your hobbies where you live and stuff like that what your interests are what kind of music you're listening to or probably you might even delete it if you don't want to have to uh, that this website won't have your data uh, so the uh, for example like websites who are saying that got that amount of followers uh, database and you want way more than they have and they will definitely manipulate and there is like I would say at least like 10% uh, 
uh, of both clicking the advertisement so it's so expensive for advertisers and you got like fake views and another 10% clicking it by mistake or uh, that's like already 20% of your money that is lost only because of those two reasons but like, there's way more reasons for that so data uh, data world will have the most world's most powerful data exchange where you will be exchanging your data I, I guess uh, you will be able to sell the tokens as well uh, with the data wallet inside exchange uh, they are covered in business inside a wide but I don't know why they didn't provide the links I hope they will provide the links afterwards and the same question to the team why they didn't provide the LinkedIn account so I hope they will cover those small issues afterwards because I want to have a look at the uh, uh, the LinkedIn account experience but they got Tim Draper, Draper who was in uh, Tezos uh, he was uh, back, uh, backing up Tezos he's investing in Skype, Tesla, SpaceX and Mark Benioff, Chairman and CEO of Salesforce that's crazy, that's, that's good signs like those, those guys don't enter bad project and um, Daniel CTO is PhD in science, cognitive science, which is cool. And uh, Seraphin is administ business administration. I guess that's him, right? <laughs> so, a uh, data wallet provides users with a self sovereign wallet that puts them in charge of their data and allows them to monetize as well. As I told you, as they are saying, by 2022, data will be most valuable. So as as you might know, it's like new oil. Data is new oil, they call it. But currently, uh, we don't own the uh, the data, and it costs hundreds of billions, and still still low quality data. That's what I explained. Like uh, the the data is really low quality. Um, so those companies anonymously sell your data and you don't know what they did it's just reading a few, few things from uh, from their website so that's why they basically use the blockchain powered solution and uh, they're, they're coming up with a data world application make mobile device application where you can earn real uh, money for sharing your data basically selling and they will have a data wallet app, uh, a hub to plug in in any piece of software you want. And there is way more options. You may like to read more about that. Um, so let's um, let's move to the token sales. The hard cap is thirty million dollars, but they don't disclose the soft cap. It's hidden. Total DXC created 750 million. Uh, maximum is going 33% to investors, 33% um, going to data wallet, and divided those by 16.6. .6. So that's how the token allocation happens. And token sales uh, in 30 days, DXT1 token will be 18 cents, and they will accept Bitcoin. Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum. Um, so that was like pretty much about the project. Definitely go for the white paper. I will just scroll quickly what they are covering. So they got a disclaimer in here, introduction. This is so technical, like running case in background literature. literature. How everything is set it up. Uh, background literature, like all those tables explanation how everything works this is like so technical I try to read it but would go model for data wallet ecosystem but um to be true i didn't understand like all the uh, moments in the white paper uh, that's why data profile creation or in email sequence diagram like probably like people programmers and technical people will most likely understand it that's why I, i'm asking why they don't have simple white one pager because like uh, i'm not programmer i'm just a technical person not 
technical development in any industry but so one web page would be lovely is it it will explain to uh, most uh, people who would like to contribute and there is a conclusion the uh, why it's interesting guys here so the white paper is not that long 30 pages 34 pages but um, but yeah it's pretty technical uh, as I said again, this was for just educational purposes. Uh, subscribe to uh, email list to be uh, to stay tuned. Just enter your email right here and subscribe. Stay tuned for all notification when the whitelist will open. As I saw somewhere, but it's not hundred percent sure information that uh, pre-sale will be. Or it's private sale with minimum fifty thousand dollars, but I don't guarantee that, uh, that this information is true. Fell, I just read it somewhere in the forum, maybe so. It's not re reliable information. Maybe you can find something on Twitter or ask them in the Telegram. I haven't asked it yet, but I'm going to do that. And yeah, sign up for the Twitter. And that was pretty much guys today for about uh, data wallet project. If you like the vi if you like the video, click like, subscribe to my channel, comment, or try to respond and answer all the questions. And I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Bye. -bye.